女士们、先生们，让我们屏息以待，共同倒数，欢迎男子一百米自由泳决赛的明星出场。Five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. He tied with Magnini at those championships in Melbourne. So, really, any of these eight performers, we cannot write off. Yes, William Maynard, another third in the European Championships last year, part of the French relay team that came second to the Australians, and the Australians winning. And this is the man who will take them out, you suspect. Nathan Adrian. The His Americans. qualifying time, 48.05. He's never been under 48. He's done a 48 flat before. The Americans have dominated this 100 freestyle with 11 medals, six of them gold, but they haven't been in the medals since 2001. Here's our boy. So many people haven't heard of him before, Nicole. We got to know him really only after the, the titles in April where he burst onto the scene and uh, really made an impact. And he's certainly done that here at these championships so far. 20 years of age. He's from Port Macquarie, but now resides in Sydney. Trains with Brant Best at the SOPAC Olympic pool. There's Cesar Cielo, world record holder, 46.91. There's James, set the standard this year, 47.49. We expect him to come from behind. I hope he can get out with them. Yeah, that's the question. So many great Australians have been able to win this race, as we said, and, and never really got that close. If you can reproduce his relay leg of 47.49, surely that will be enough. Take your the men's 100 metre freestyle is underway. It's showtime for James Magnuson. We're expecting Adrian of the United States to take them out, but Cielo it is who's in front over in lane two. James is staying within reach. He can't overswim though here, Nicole. No, he doesn't want to lose feeling of his stroke. He doesn't want to spin his wheels. This is a great spot for him. Gillo taking it out in the outside as well. 50 metre split. It is Caesar Cielo. 22.63. That is very fast. So Caesar Cielo and look at James Magnuson in lane four in the gold cap. He's well placed here. This is the part of the race where he's earned his nickname, the Missile. Can he turn it on? Caesar Cielo still the man. James Magnuson starts to go now. He's going to turn it on like he never has before. Magnuson the Magnificent. He's become the first Australian to win this coveted title. Oh, the torpedo has been superseded by the Missile. 47-63. He's done it, Nicole. <laughs> he's done it. You bloody beauty. <laughs> what a great swim. Give us the salute. There you go. You are champion of the world, James Magnuson. 47-63, he's done it. There's his coach. The Australian coaching staff there. Brant, Brant, Brant Best, well done. Also to the New South Wales Institute of Sport that have prepared him for this. Oh. He was just sensational off the start. He made sure that he was not out of contact with the rest of the field. Beautiful high elbow. His technique is just perfect, just fantastic. And it was with 25 metres to go that he just did what he has been doing for 12 months now. He, he just took it, off. He does it every time, Nicole. He gets an incredible spurt of speed between about 40 metres to go and, and 20 metres to go, and he maintains it. The only worry is, you know, the last five metres, and it was not a worry at all tonight. Well, Cesar Cielo threw everything at him. He went out fast. He was leading until 75 metres, and our boy...
James Magnuson is the champion of the world in the 100 freestyle, first time in Australian and world swimming history. 47.63. Brent Hayden from Canada get, got second. 47.95. Well done. Wow. It's incredible that, uh, uh, that he's been able to do it. I mean, he was the hot favourite. I mean, he's just made such an impression on all the champions. We've heard Michael Phelps, who he was able to take care of in the relay, just full of praise for well, the young man. Cesar Cielo did the same thing pre-race. He talked about not being able to beat him, talked about the fact that he was going to be out so fast and back so well that I almost thought that he was playing mind games with James. Mm, I, I must admit I did too. But I think the thing that this now proves is no matter what happens surround... Here's a moment well worth experiencing, Nicole. What must be going through the mind of James Magnuson, the medal ceremony for the men's 100 metres freestyle final. Maynard takes out the bronze from France. Brent Hayden ended up taking out the silver. He went sub 48 seconds as well. And Brent Hayden, a former winner. 2007. It's been a very short career to get to this point in time for James Magnuson, which just really sounds corny, but it's the world's your oyster, isn't it? When you're only 20 and you are world champion, it's the second year on the national team. And I know he'll be thinking only about trying to get to, to London in good shape, but commercially this is going to be a massive boost for him as well, I would imagine, which is, which is great for him. Yeah, particularly if it means that he can focus more on training and not having to worry about it. Congratulations to his coach as well, Brant Best, of the SOPAC swim team. First Australian ever to win a gold medal in this event in World Championship history. James Magnuson of Australia. As you said earlier, Nicole, you're a world champion. What a great feeling. He's a massive Canterbury Bulldogs fan. In fact, he lists his hobbies as a full-time Bulldogs fan. So there's one for the Bulldogs. That might give you a lift in the NRL season. say exactly let himself go there with singing the words to the national anthem <laughs> but he let himself go in the pool and that was much more important Australia's first individual gold medal of the world championships in Shanghai goes to James Magnuson from Port Macquarie moved to Sydney to train with Brant Best who relocated from Queensland as an assistant coach at one stage to Stefan Widmar, Queensland Academy of Sport coach, and then he got recruited to, to New South Wales and brought this young man down to train in Sydney. And the rest, as they say, is history. He's got to get into that a bit more, doesn't he? Mm. Maybe it was chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> he still has the medley relay to go. 